Champions, welcome to Jatai Feathers Razor Fundamentals course. This course is designed to give you everything you need to know to cut hair well with a razor. So we're going to cover all the skills it's going to require, we're going to cover the foundational knowledge that you're going to need to get your start. The best way to start this program is to get yourself a good doll head, something with some good hair, and just follow along with me step by step. As I'm going through the video, just follow along. Take the same sections that I'm taking, make sure that your body mimics mine, and just follow because it's going to be a foreign feeling if you've never cut hair with a razor before. So I want you to get comfortable with the mechanics of cutting. Once you get comfortable with the mechanics, then we're going to focus on the end result of the cut line. So those are the first two steps. From there, we will build upon each skill and it gets harder and harder and harder as it goes. But as we build upon skills, you will also gain a lot of confidence. The great thing about a razor, the great thing about razor cutting is that it's a, a, it's a very simple tool. Right? And I'm going to go through and show you everything that you need to know in order to use the tool well. But I cannot replace the practice that's going to be required just from watching a video. So that's why it's important that you follow along with your own doll head to internalize that skill. Because I can show you everything you need to know in just a few videos, but to master it, it takes a lifetime. A lifetime of practice and application and demanding more and more and more and more of your skill and the tool and the tool will match you every step of the way. You just have to practice and make it your own. In the videos I'm going to be going over and using the feather styling razor. Now the feather styling razor is the one with the guard and so it protects the blade. So I don't have to worry about cutting myself. I can focus on the, the fundamental skills of my body, how I'm applying the cut, and then the end result of the cut without fear of cutting myself. Because it's no fun if you cut yourself every time you pick up a razor. That's why people are so afraid of it. So we're going to start with a guard. As you master it, as you gain skill, you'll know when you need to fine tune it more than the razor is capable. And then that's when we move up into the plie. The plie is the razor without a guard. Now, this demands a certain amount of skill and dexterity that this doesn't. This can get you 90% of the way there. This gives you that extra 10%. Now, I would not suggest you go to the guard less razor, the plie, until you have mastered this. This will get you close enough. For most people, you don't never need to go beyond this. But for those perfectionists that demand that extreme amount of control and that extra fine tuning, nothing takes the place of this. Nothing. So let's cover holding the, the feather styling razor. Most people will hold it like this, right? When I hold it like this, I find that it, it compresses my arm and it torques my wrist in funky ways. So I tend to hold it backwards. And what I do is I will take my fingers, I put it in, put the thumb in, and then roll my fingers over. I'll maybe put my finger through the ring or my pinky through the ring and I just basically push the thumb against the blade. I guess the blade. <laughs> so what I basically do is just hold it against my fingers and use my thumb to push it against my fingers and then roll my fingers over and make a claw. Sometimes I'll put my pinky in and I just make a claw like this. So now my forefinger can go towards the tip of the blade and force the motion with just my finger. All right, so sometimes the stroke requires a delicate touch of just the finger. Sometimes it requires a larger stroke more of the wrist. Sometimes it requires a larger stroke with the elbow. Very seldom do I ever use the shoulder and just shred everything, right? So it's about control. Broad, medium, fine. When I move into the plie, I open it all the way up to make a T. I put it all the way in the crotch of my first two fingers. I push the blade towards my forefinger and roll my fingers around to grasp here. So now I've got a good grasp on it with the three fingers, the thumb, and then the forefinger goes to the blade and controls again. The tip, the larger stroke, the bigger stroke. 
right? And this way I keep a really good death grip on it so I don't end up being sloppy with the blade. I want this very, very well controlled. Sometimes it's the wrist, sometimes it's just the tip of the finger that controls it. So that's how you hold the razor. Another thing is, is that we have three different types of blade for the feather styling razor. The first one is the standard blade, which has, you know, guards on the teeth. The next one is the Type R, which is a, the Type R has wider gaps between the guards, so it exposes more blade. So it's kind of a step up in relaxing the safety of the first blade. So the standard blade has one, two, three, four, five, it has a bunch of guards on it. So it's very, very safe. This one opens it up a little bit more, so it gives you more exposed blade. And then the last one is a texturizing blade, which has gaps in it to allow not all the hair to touch the cutting blade. So it allows you to texturize just different pieces of the hair as opposed to cutting the entire thing off. Jatai makes something called Blade Glide, which works great. I just spray this on the hair after it's been shampooed and conditioned and towel dried. I spray it before I start cutting and it compacts the cuticle and gives me just a little bit of slip as I run the blade across it and it makes it cut easier and it keeps my blade sharper for a longer period of time. That leads me to the hair has to be an optimal wetness. You'll, get a, you'll develop a feel for how much the wetness that the hair needs as you start cutting more. You don't want the hair so sopping wet that uh, water's dripping all over the place. But then you don't want it dry that when you run the blade across it, it starts to fray the cuticle. So you want it damp enough that it keeps everything compacted and together, but you don't want it so wet that it starts making the hair clump together and I can't see the end result of my texturizing or the end result of the line. All right, so that covers all of our tools. So grab your doll head, just follow along with me, and we're going to give you all the skills that you need in order to enable you to do some great razor cutting. Thanks. Let's get started. Get started. <laughs>